So we're gonna be making this headband right here. It's a super quick make. Um, this is with Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn. Um, but yeah, it works up pretty simply. This is what we're gonna be making. So in order to make this, you're gonna just need one skein. And then I am using an eight millimeter hook from Hobby Lobby, I think this one is. Um, any eight millimeter hook will work. But the, what we need to do first is make a slip knot, attach it to our hook here, and then we are going to chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into the second chain from hook. So we're not going to do in this chain, but this chain. We're gonna skip the first one and go into the second one. And then after our first double crochet, we are going to single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and then one last double crochet and single crochet. So we're gonna have eight stitches total, starting with a double crochet and ending your row with a single crochet, alternating between the two. And then we're always going to chain one at every end, so you're gonna chain one in turn. And then again, we're going to double crochet in the first stitch. So it's a yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, oops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our double crochet. Our single crochet is just insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now we're gonna go back to a double crochet, which is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, back to a single crochet, which is entering your hook, pulling up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two. So we're gonna keep doing that same double crochet, single crochet, repetitive pattern that we're gonna be doing throughout. This is the lemon peel stitch or the seed stitch. So that's row two, we're gonna chain one and turn. Again, starting with a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. We're gonna do this for 10 rows. So once you get to your 10th row, I will show you guys what the next step is at that point. Okay, and then now once you have your 10 rows, it should look about like this. You're going to again chain one and turn. You're gonna begin your row normally by doing a double crochet, followed by a single crochet, and then you're gonna do that one more time, double crochet, single crochet. And then this is the part where it's different. We're actually just going to chain one, oops, chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna keep working in these four stitches back and forth. So double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, again, chain one and turn. And we're gonna do 10 rows of this part right here. So we'll have row 10, 11, 12, up to 20 rows total. Um, so 10 for each section. So once you guys get to your 10th row of this section, uh, pause there and then I will show you guys what the next step is. Okay, and then at this point, we are going to cut our yarn and going to knot it here 
and then what we need to do is we need to tie back on right here and make a second panel that's as long as this one so another 10 row panel so how I attach mine is I just stick my hook right through the last stitch over here I hook my new yarn pull it up I pull the tail back with this hand and hold it chain one and then now we're gonna start with the single crochet on this side then we're going to double crochet single crochet and then one more double crochet and then now we're starting our second panel right here and we're gonna keep going up until we have 10 rows and it matches this side so we're gonna chain one and turn again we're gonna start with a single crochet now double crochet single crochet double crochet chain one turn oops sorry we're gonna start with a single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet and we're gonna keep doing that um, and then I will meet you guys when you get your second little leg here that long and now once we've reached this point what we're gonna do is we're going to take this side right here and we're going to cross it over so the side that we cut the yarn I'm just going to cross it over and what we're going to do is we're going to do our row like we have been except we're going to reconnect to this corner right here and start making it one long piece again so i'm going to chain one i'm going to single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet and then with my corner right here I am going to single crochet double crochet single crochet and then end with a double crochet So now this is attached on the front. We're gonna chain one and turn. And then we're going to single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way across the row. And we're gonna do this so we have 10 total rows again. So our whole project in total will have 30 rows. Um, and then once you get, so you get your 10 rows added on, I will show you guys what the last and final step is for this project. Okay, now that I have my 10 rows on both sides, I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to cut, I don't know, 12, 16 inch tail, 18 inch tail a foot and a half and you probably don't need that long but I just say better safe than sorry and then now what we're going to do is we are going to fold our headband and we are going to seam this end together I just use this yarn needle that I have that has a thicker eye hole in it um, works better for the bulkier yarns you can get these at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon. And I'm just going to basically go through the stitch. And I'm just going to go do a whip stitch kind of like this.
all the way down the headband. And then what I like to do at the end is secure it with a knot with the other tail that's up there. Um, but I actually like to go back down through with my needle, um, kind of like as you're weaving in the end and just extra secure the weaving you just did. And this part you don't have to do, I just like to do it. And we can sniff our yarn there. And then we need to weave in all of our tail ends that we have. Voila, let me flip it inside right. And your headband is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more crochet tutorials, Addy tutorials, uh, market tips, market vlogs, stuff like that, definitely subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope I see you guys next time and enjoy your headbands. Just my heart